What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. Before we get into this review, I just want to give a quick shout-out to SellCashier.com for sponsoring this review. If you guys want to get cash for your used iPhone, check out the link in the description and go to SellCashier.com. So let's get into this review, guys. This is a product that was sent to me free for review from Fiaton, and today we have the MS100BA earbuds, or earphones, if you will. So this is a new product. I haven't had a chance to check out anything from Fiaton before in the past, and I bumped into them at CES uh, back in January and I got a contact with somebody from them and they sent me this pair of earbuds to try out and then test out and to do a review for you guys so overall I'm pretty impressed by the uh, the quality of them and, and the sound we'll get into that in just a bit but first off this is what is included with the, the BA uh, the 100 BAs so as you can see we do have some extra large tips right here there's some that come with on the headphones themselves they do include an extra pair right here we have the one set of medium, one set of small. It comes with a warranty card, a small little leather, or not leather, but uh, like a soft pouch, like a velvet type of pouch. And that's basically what comes with the headphones. The headphones right now are inside here. So let's take them out, and then we guys go ahead and show you some close-ups of those ear earbuds themselves. All right, guys, so here we have the earbuds, and here's a close-up of them. And so this is actually a pair of metal earbuds, if you will. So these are actually steel right here. So really small, nice, have a really interesting shape to them, and they, they do have some really nice tips. I'm not really a big fan of these kind of little tips that go inside the ear. I kind of prefer the ones that either hang on the ledge, like the ear pods, or the one that hook around the ear. So I haven't really tested a pair of earbuds that go inside the ear for a really long time, and I have to say, these are pretty comfortable, and they do a really good job of isolating the sound to make sure there's no leak leakage of sound, so it has a really good, solid audio because it plugs up your ear very nicely. I have noted that when I do wear them for long periods of time, though, it does tend to bother my ears after a couple of hours so if you want to use these uh, for extended periods like at work I, I was testing them out for eight hours a day and then there were some times where I had to take them out and and let my ears have a little bit of a rest but overall if you guys are watching a movie or listening to maybe a couple hours of music you should be fine so as you see we have a really nice cool bright red cable here and it has an interesting shape to them as well it's actually oval shaped it's not that easy to tell but it really prevents it from getting tangled up so as you can see I have it bunched up right here but it, it comes apart pretty easily and I don't have really any issues at all getting it untangled so do a really good job of that cable it's like an oval shaped type of cable so on one end right here we do have a 90 degree angle gold plated plug very nice you shouldn't have any issues getting that that plug into your device if it is if it is inside of a case if it's in one of those more bulkier like cases like maybe like the uh, the OtterBox Defender case or something like that that may not be enough reach to get into that case but I didn't have any issues with it at all and so as you can see as you get over here this does feature a microphone and controller so there's a microphone built into here. So if you do get phone calls, you can click on it and it'll answer the phone call. You can talk. When you're done, click on it the music will play. It does not control uh, the volume levels, but you can skip playback, go forward and back, and, uh, re and, and control the music playback by clicking that as well. So that's kind of nice. And that doesn't matter whether you're using an Android device or if you're using an iOS device like an iPhone. Okay. If we get to the bottom right here, this is where it splits. Some nice branding right there with the logo. And then we get to the earbuds. And this cable is pretty much your traditional length cable. Nothing out of the ordinary with that. And the earbuds themselves are very light, but they do feel nice because they are metal, so they're not plastic or cheap feeling. And they're still very lightweight while they're in your ear. When it comes to audio quality, they do a really good job. So these are balanced armature drivers that they use for these, uh, this pair of earbuds. And the frequency response is 10 hertz to 27,000 hertz. And the impedance, uh, the impedance is 24 ohms. So they're perfect for any, any devices like uh, cell phones, iPhones, iPod Touch, things like that. Smaller uh, handheld devices should be fine when it comes to powering these, these uh, earbuds. So overall, my experience with them has been really, really good. The bass, actually, surprisingly, it doesn't. It does, I'm not going to say it has crazy thump to it, like a really strong bass, but the bass is very nice. I was kind of worried because it's the housing of these and the chambers seem kind of small, so I didn't know how the bass was going to do. But as long as you have a good seal in your ear with these ear the, the tips, the bass sounds very nice. So I was really pleasantly surprised with that. The highs and the mids sound good as well. And for an eighty dollar pair of earbuds, I think they do. They do sound pretty nice and uh, you know they do include a couple extra tips they do have a nice soft pouch carrying case to carry with you you can throw them in your bag and keep it all tank together and, and all uh, and, and protected inside of a bag so overall I, my experience with the, the this pair of earbuds has been pretty positive they don't weigh barely anything they're like five grams so they do, they're not very they're not very heavy at all very lightweight i will say though that but that the cable is not a um, it's not the type of cable where it, 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 you can still hear noise if you bump into the cable. So I wouldn't recommend this pair of earbuds if you're going to be doing a lot of exercising and working out and moving around a lot. Because I did notice when it is in your ears and if you are tapping or bumping into the cable, you can hear that rubbing noise through the earbuds themselves. Plus, 
when I was using it, I don't, I don't, I'm not 100 percent sure that they would stay in your ear if you're doing a lot of sweating and stuff. That's normally something you would want a pair of active earbuds with, with like ear hooks or something like that to stay in your ear. This isn't really meant for that for exercising and such, so I wouldn't be able to recommend them for that uh, active use. But if you're just chilling around, sitting on the bus, on a plane, at your computer, listening to some music, listening to some jams. I think they'll definitely do the job for you there. So definitely recommend you checking them out. They retail for $80. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in purchasing them on Amazon. And uh, that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you have any questions about this product, please post those down below. I'll get back to you guys as quickly as I can. And just one more time to give a quick shout-out to sellcashier.com, the sponsor of this review. If you guys want to get cash for your used iPhone, go check them out. It's easy, fast, and secure. Just go on their site and get a quote. Ship your phone, and then you get paid. It's that simple. So sellcashier.com, link in the description. So that's it from me, guys. Make sure you show some love to the like button down below if you enjoyed this review. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more reviews from me. And I'll see you guys in the next video.